You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Prime Minister Hun Sen has requested foreign museums and other institutions that currently hold or exhibit stolen Khmer artifacts to voluntarily return them to Cambodia. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has a story. The handover ceremony for the Khmer antiques was held on Friday morning at the Peace Palace in Phnom Penh and was presided over by the Prime Minister Hun Sen. Delivering a speech for the occasion, the Prime Minister Hun Sen remarked on the major achievement of the repatriation of the stolen artefacts and the part foreign stakeholders played in returning these treasures to their home country. <laughs> He emphasised that this handover ceremony also reflects the importance of the good cooperation with other countries and the active participation of the international community in the global campaign to combat the theft and illegal trade of cultural poverty. The Prime Minister continued that Cambodia is currently collecting more evidence on the illegal theft of ancient Cambodian artefacts, while also negotiating the return of certain artefacts with all parties concerned. He also commended the governments of various countries and all stakeholders involved in contributing to the reputation of Cambodia's lost treasures. The Minister of Culture and Fine Arts, Purung Sakona, confirmed that 77 pieces of antique jewellery made from gold were returned from England to Cambodia on the 17th of February 2023. She said nine statues had been stolen from Chen Tepo, Kok Ke, on the 10th century capital of the Khmer Empire, during a period of civil war and domestic insecurity in Cambodia. As of today, seven statues have been returned to the kingdom, while two still remain missing. The Minister of Culture added that Cambodia is currently working with a number of foreign countries including the United States and a host of private individuals to process the return of more stolen culture artefacts. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.